Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're just gonna be setting a beaver trap. Yep. Finally, finally back at it. We was at the gym this morning. Yeah. See, we do do we do do other things other than just trapping and hunting. We gotta we gotta 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 work on stuff somehow. Yeah. Maybe maybe by summer we'll throw some fitness in on here. You never know. Yeah. But anyhow, I didn't get a chance to say it in the midst of everything with my surgery and all too. But I got married a few months ago, which. I uh, didn't mention it, not because it's not important, but like I said, just been crazy busy. So anytime we're referring to the family, that includes my wife now. And again, we're not related, but we act like we are. So anyhow, but uh, let's see here. We'll just, we'll do it that way. But got the traps this morning. I'm going to get that one back out. You said what, like six beaver? You think you still got? Probably. So quite a few of them and it's, beaver in particular in north carolina it's literally open season on them um you can't trap them all year but you can hunt them with any other weapon outside of trapping season so we're we're just covered with them especially out here and they've they, tried building dams and we got fields if mm -hmm. they dam those the creek up down here it'll flood the fields and exactly it's a whole big mess yeah so we'll see what we can get one short and hair raising ride on this thing later this guy's crazy, by the way. I mean, y'all already know that. You've seen the channel. You've seen you've seen him at work. But uh, yeah, um, we we might have caught air a little bit here and there. Yeah, I told him not to go too not to go so fast. I ate cow chips too. That's uh, if if for anybody that's never been in a cow pasture before, yeah, you don't want to step in them or make them fly, and you definitely don't want to eat them if they go flying. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Been there, done that. Yeah, I heard a story. Um, one time they used to out in the plains like out west they used to actually take buffalo chips basically the same thing and they'd burn them for fuel especially during the winter which is kind of crazy i don't know why y'all needed to know that just random stuff cletus is used to it by now he's he's just he's just working away <laughs> oh, that's kind of a one person job just for the record because if you slip, you're gonna lose a finger. Can't get it. You want me to try? No. Rip yeah. your stomach open. Yeah, yeah. I've still got. It. Yes, I was at the gym this morning, but I still got a weight limit on what I can and can't do. So sometimes he has to remind me of it because, well, he has to remind me of it. My wife has to remind me of it because, goodness knows, I'm not gonna remember it. I'm just gonna try to pick something up and carry it and, mm -mm. but. Anyhow, well, once he gets this done and we get it in position, we'll be back. Well, he didn't quite get it set yet, but we're kind of scouting out. So, in our in in our sweatpants, the redneck redneck uh, clothing of choice for winter, sweatpants or uh, just PJ pants. <laughs> Anyhow, we're let me see if I can flip the flip the camera around. The um, we're just kind of scouting along the creek here, trying to see. We can find another slide. Yeah, because we had the one which you've seen, you've seen in previous videos, but we're just trying to see what else we can find in here. And you can see, I mean, with the way the the way the bank is, it wouldn't flood too bad if there was to build a dam. But at the same time, if there was to build a dam, it'd, it'd back up pretty good in here. And if you got a flood, it would, I mean, it'd yeah. flood the, it'd flood everything. So. We need to get across there because we own the whole island. Here. Yeah, this over across in there. Yeah, we've talked about trying to get over in there and camp on it or something. That's going to be a summer project though because that water's cold right now. It's, it was 28 degrees when we woke up this morning. So it's, it's cold out there. Out there, out here. Why? I'm talking like I'm on the radio, and here I am standing on the side of a creek. Good grief. But, you seeing anything over there? No. I'm thinking there could be a muskrat hole or something, if that's a thing. Mm. It is. It is. Yeah, they live in holes in there. Because we have muskrats. It's funny, until it wasn't but a few months ago, I finally saw a live muskrat swimming the same creek. I'd heard about them. I knew what they was. I've seen them hunting before, though. Yeah. I've never actually seen one before, though. But. Well, I guess we could just set the trap on the spot that we had it. Yeah. Let's just set it where 
where it was. I mean, you've had good success. How many have you caught there? Two. Okay. Yeah, I'd say let's just stick with that. Yeah. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Or, as we say, uh, as I say sometimes, if it ain't broke, I can fix that. <laughs> he says he needs a stick, so he's getting a stick. But finally got the trap set up to be set. So that's what it looks like when it's actually done up. And there's a tool, um, I probably should have videoed that part. There's a tool that you use to actually get it ready to be set. But there's a little better view of the island and the creek. We was talking about it, we may do this in a future video, talking about getting some kind of logs or something and setting up across through here so we can actually get across the other side or wading, at least wading across or something, but we'll. This is the scary part. Yeah, yeah, this is the part, uh, this is the part especially you want one person doing, because. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna kill myself. I've done this a million times. It doesn't get any easier, does it? Nope. I hate these traps, but I love them. Okay. And, uh, what? I drove. Oh, is the clip? Yeah. Wrong place? Here, we get a little better view. I'm gonna be that videographer that's not helpful at all and just sticking the camera places. Everything set up and situated, and then there we go. Oh, and meanwhile, we do have an onlooker again. Remember what I said about cow pastures? This comes with the territory, too. But anyhow, one of the things for us here in North Carolina, too, is traps. If you're going to set a trap. Have enough trip? No, I did that on purpose. <laughs> uh-huh, of course he did. One of the things for us here in North Carolina, and most, most states are this way, if you're gonna set a trap, you're required to check it at least every 24 hours. So that's why I don't always, we don't always leave traps set, because if not gonna have the opportunity to check it every 24 hours, because you don't want a, a critter stuck in it, still alive, suffering. You know, that's, that's not humane or anything at all, so. All right. So, that's a little better way with the chain to make sure it don't float down the creek or something. Should've worked. That's kind of a catchphrase of ours, should've, should've wore boots. Oh my goodness. But, you know what? It'll buff. Yep. <laughs> that's our other catchphrase. Well, that and yee-yee too. We got a lot of catchphrases. And that, this how you said it, a beaver trap. And well, under four hours. Mm -hmm. So, the idea here, with it set, you can see with the slide here, I'll back up. They slide down through here and just slip through it. And when it goes off, it catches them. You've seen them, if you've seen the other videos that Cletus is doing, you've seen them with, when they're in the trap. Yeah. So. It catches the neck. Bricks are mm -hmm. spine. Mm -hmm. Instant kill. Yeah, that's Very, it's, it's, it's a humane way to do it. Too. That's why it's called an instant kill trap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Anyhow, so hopefully, see what we got. Um, In the yep. Today, we're just going to do a little bit of trapping. Okay, we're here at the trap. Going to get it out of where it is. In my last video, Set this trap to try to catch this groundhog. But you didn't catch him because of the bait we had. Now we got cat food. I'm gonna try it. It may not work. Uh, it may work. I can get the trap set.
Okay. Now that we've got that done, I'm gonna pour a little bit of caffeine in there. We've got one crap already set. I didn't get it yet. Because I wasn't thinking about it. I'm gonna show you all that set when we get there. Alright guys, so here's the set I have. The dog proof hook to that tree right there. And hopefully it'll work. It's called a dog proof because coyotes and bobcats can't really get in there because it off thumbs. So grab a little lever back in there and pull it. That's it. some some uh what you call them. Foxes can get in there. But not usually. Just a little bit of dog fit down in there. There's a pan right down in there. They pull it and it grabs her arm. This right there. So let's go make another set. Alright guys, got this one set. Cat food in the back. Got it on a good little trail running right through here. Hopefully we'll have something in the morning. Got this one set with the cat food. Got it in the back. Kind of in a good spot. Cut a lot of raccoons and possums right here. And I mean, I'm almost positive we will have something in the morning. Got this one set, guys. Cat food in the back. I don't know about this spot. Never really set any traps here. So I know I have beavers here. Set a trap over there. That should be a video, you know. This should be in this video, I don't really know. But hopefully we'll catch some here too. We're back, it's been yeah. a couple days. Yeah. So it's actually, we didn't say when it was when we started this video, but Christmas has been in between here. It's a couple days after Christmas now, so it's been raining like crazy. Yeah. Um Started raining the day after Christmas and just, the it's waters. come like crazy. I mean, The creek it, waters probably rose a foot. Yeah, yeah, easy. You can actually see it down in there. We already checked a couple traps. Nothing. Two. Yeah. Five, five traps. So yeah. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. I did catch two possum and another live trap. Some mm -hmm. other live traps. That yeah. I did video. Yeah. And we actually just saw over in this other pasture. Like seven. Back years. behind me. Yeah. Like. Seven or eight. Yeah. Good. Good number. Eight. Obviously the cows are examining us, but the um, it's Don't muddy as all get out. And we was talking. We, we was joking about it. We're we're in full redneck mode right now. Again, it's very muddy. Jim this morning, and now we're trying to not get gym clothes like totally yeah. nasty. So, yeah, we we we're really we're really looking the part of rednecks now. But anyhow, we're gonna I'm gonna turn this off for a second while we get through the fence here, and then we'll uh, we'll turn it back on once we get down there to the trap. Nothing in the trap. Yeah, nothing nothing to see here. Just three three red, three rednecks in the creek. <laughs> so it's down. You said it's down a little bit. But, from where it was. Because it was covering the trap completely, like two inches above the trap. Yeah, it's. Now it's all the way under it. Yeah. The water's still up from where it was when we started this video, though. Well, it's still on it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's, that's just part of the creeks and stuff out in here. When it, when we hit the dry season, they'll go down big It'll time. Go down, yeah. But uh, if we get really even one good heavy rain, it I mean. Was, I've seen it cover that. I've seen it cover this whole area like right now we would be 12 to 14 feet underwater yeah yeah i'll probably be in the water yeah it'd yeah. be over your head bud for it sure. goes up way up to those trees yeah like over there on the island if you look close you might be able to see some of the, the high water marks but anyhow those so we want to see we got what one more trap to check two more okay two more so we'll see what there is so we're going along here, just along the bank, was kind of scouting out some stuff before we moved on to the next trap. And Clay just spotted this right here. Good looking sign of beaver yeah. on the tree, which beaver, so beavers are rodents, which means that their teeth grow constantly. Their front two teeth, the ones that are orange typically. And if they don't gnaw on stuff and wear them down, they'll eventually hurt themselves. They'll like literally grow through the roof of their mouth. So that's why they're always gnawing and chewing. They got that instinct. So, but they also literally eat wood. So it's funny. We call woodchucks, you know, we call groundhogs woodchucks, even though they don't eat wood and beavers. But anyhow, that's, that's a story for another day. But 
anyhow, some good sign, definitely, because that's that's fairly fresh. We've definitely still got some in here to trap, even though we ain't got them yet. Okay, so we checked two more traps and nothing. 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 But um, again, well, actually, something set the one trap off, but nothing was in it. Yeah, which that happens. Yeah. Um, so being it is uh, a couple days after Christmas. Christmas presents are a, are, are a thing, which I haven't been inside this yet. You want to explain what it is while I'm... Uh, it's just a Rhino brand see-through blind, and it is nice. Um, where's, where's, aha. Uh -huh. You unclip it. Ah, oh, no noise. I like it. That's one thing with the blind we've, the other blind we've got. The zipper is... Oh my goodness. Deafening. Yeah. It, it might as well be a chainsaw when uh, when deer are around. Might as well be. Okay, let's just do it. Oh my goodness. My fingers, I can't do this one handed. Well, it's kind of cold out. I can do it. Yeah, it's chilly. Chilly today, hot tamale. That's a... Oh my gosh. Yeah. And Son. Put that down. This is shoot. nice. Shooting around. I like it. Made that myself. This is wild, though. Like I've I've heard and seen pictures, but nothing does this justice. This is cool. Got three windows. I like it. I Waterproof. Like it. Got that right there to stick. Though you're in probably stuffings stuffings is in. Yeah. This is nice. Turkey season. It's gonna be really nice because. Yeah. Only thing it would be a little cold because the wind will blow right through it, but yeah, you got the corn just right there. I mean, that's probably mm -hmm. five yards, I would say. Yeah, come turkey season, that corn's nah. gotta go away, obviously. But that's probably 10, 10 yards. Yeah, come turkey season, this is gonna be nice. Anyway. Yeah, like I said, can't bait turkey, so we won't have tur we won't have corn for turkey. Food. Nope. I actually, I got a um, my wife gave me a. Uh, gun sling or gun strap i've been eyeing so i'm looking forward to putting that to use for uh, turkey season too so it's gonna be nice we'll have to see what we can do we may still try to get a little little deer hunt in yeah the next uh next few weeks but we'll have to see uh, now this is this yeah is it doesn't do justice how much you can see through that i mean it's it's almost clear yeah but from the outside, it is it's not clear. Not clear. You, you saw that already. But all right, what do you say we get back to the house and uh, drink some more coffee? Yeah, because I got a Keurig for Christmas. Yep, yep, yep. We got all we got all kinds of fun stuff for Christmas. I got a climbing stand too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not going to use it this year because I'll probably fall and kill myself. To Disney Wood. Yeah. Yep. We but, all we all did good. Yep. Our parents and my wife and everybody. Everybody. everybody had a good Christmas. Hope you do too, whoever's watching. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, we'll see y'all when we so, catch. So, um, we just, we, we literally just stepped out the blind. Like, there's the blind. And just there's a rub. Big rub. Like, some of y'all, you know, on the other end of North Carolina or in Tennessee might have just heard Cletus hooping and hollering as excited as he was. I mean, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. That's so, awesome. Yeah. The more deer sign, the better, so. We saw a re yeah. really big six point. All right, guys, it's a few days later. Just got back from checking the beaver trap, and we had some luck. A real nice beaver. It's a big beaver. Really big beaver. I'll be 35 pounds, and it's uh, it's gotten very cold since the last time I videoed anything. It's about 35 degrees, and it's snowing. But a real nice old sow or girl, whatever you want to call it, beaver. So we're cleaning them out. Third beaver I've caught so far. All right, just got done checking the last of the traps. It's like crazy cold this morning. It's a few days later again since the last clip that was part of this video. It's truck says it's 23 right now, which is why we're in the truck and not out of it because 
Yeah, it's it's cold. We was doing some exploring down by the creek. You found a, a spot that it's real shallow. So over. yeah, we're gonna see. Maybe we could put some stepping stones or something like that across that. But um, if you look out the window, I mean, you see the cows are in the middle of the pasture, but um, it is frosted Frost. like crazy this Heavy. morning. Like it looked like it snowed almost. But anyhow, so we're gonna we're gonna put a wrap on this video and uh, see uh, deer season's done. So now the focus is squirrel. squirrel until turkey season opens, so. Yep, well, thanks for watching and like like this video, subscribe. And All that good stuff yeah. that you're supposed to say at the end of YouTube videos, but.